I can't even believe I'm saying this, Israel is two months old. As promised, I wanted to share with you guys some tips for managing mastitis. That's my uh, postpartum advice for you. All right, you guys, I can't even believe I'm saying this. Israel is two months old, plus a week. I don't know how it happened. It happens like so fast. Everyone tells you it goes by quick. As a mom of seven, I'm here to say they're absolutely correct. It literally, there's nothing you can do. You try to hold on to the time and it just goes faster. Um, so yeah, this dude is growing like a weed. Surely he's over 13 pounds now. I'm not <laughs> exactly sure how much he weighs, but he was pretty close to 13 the last time we weighed him. He's fitting in three to six month clothes. Uh, this is the first time in 10 years I've actually gotten to fulfill my desire to buy little plaid button ups because we finally have a son, which is crazy. Um, but I was just pictured the little boy clothes, little pants, little shirts, adorable. Um, so we're really enjoying dressing him. He's got some cute little like beanies and hats that he wears and I just can't wait for this winter to bundle him up, make him look super precious. He has not laughed yet, but he's like this close. We've got him smiling at us all the time, cooing, making noises back. Like if I say hi, he tries to imitate that sound, which is really sweet. He's still sleeping a lot. Like he's sleeping through the day, through the night, waking up, nursing, going back to sleep. <laughs> he hangs out and smiles with us for a little bit, but they say that you grow when you're sleeping. So it makes sense that he's sleeping a lot because like I said before, he is growing so quickly. I love the little faces he makes while he's dreaming. As promised, I wanted to share with you guys some tips for managing mastitis. Before we left last week, I came down with like a really sudden case of mastitis. It started with me knowing like I need to nurse him. It feels like I'm getting a clogged duct. Um, and then I was like, I'm really cold. I came like really cold. I made John get me a blanket and put it in the dryer. And then even under that, I was like shivering. My teeth were chattering. I just felt really bad. I got in a hot bath, like a really hot bath and still teeth chattering, shivering, could not feel warm no matter what. And then after that, I had a fever. It was just a whole thing. Mastitis sucks. If you never had it, it starts with like a clogged milk duct and then infection sets in because the milk isn't flowing and it really feels like a horrible flu plus a ton of breast pain um but i wouldn't wish it on anyone i was literally in tears it was miserable if you've been around for a while you know that we don't like to use synthetic drugs pharmaceuticals uh if we don't need to they are there for a purpose if there's like a last resort but if i can manage something naturally with plants um that's what i'm gonna do because our bodies are designed to function that way and it's a lot easier in the long term you don't have to deal with side effects or long-term uh, issues so uh, i want to share that with you guys in case it's something you're dealing with one of the first things i'll say is using a haka a haka is i don't really want to call it a pump it's not really meant for pumping but you can use it to collect milk when you're nursing on one side you can use it on the other side um, it's really, really great. I've actually been able to store up a lot of extra milk for a freezer this way. But when you have a clogged duct, and you can tell because there'll be like a really firm area that's tender to the touch, um, or maybe the milk isn't flowing as much as it normally is, or at all, filling one of these up uh, with some hot salt water, like Epsom salt water, even just hot water, but adding the Epsom salt is really helpful. Filling it up, and attaching it and then just massaging uh, will get that milk flowing like in an instant. It's really, really cool and it worked really well. However, I was dealing with clogs that were really high up and really deep, so that wasn't quite cutting it for me. Uh, another thing I started doing immediately is taking sunflower lecithin. This is I don't even know. I don't know how I had seven kids before anyone told me about this because it makes all the difference. So anytime you have a clogged duct, mastitis, a lot of times what'll happen if you're not like 
emptying your breasts completely or if like that milk that builds up starting at 22 weeks in your pregnancy um, so when your milk first comes in sometimes it doesn't all get flowing it's because that fat is really sticky and it can just clog up those ducts so this will help thin out your milk so that it flows more easily um, it's it's just really amazing I was taking one three to four times a day as soon as I recognized I had clogged ducts or mastitis um, and I'm telling you this makes all the difference in the world. So this time around, I had realized I had mastitis, but felt just awful. And I, it actually took me a day or two before I started this. But as soon as I did, it was like, it got better overnight. So this would be like the first order of business. Um, unless you have just like a slight clog, then you could, this might be enough. But sunflower less didn't keep that on hand always. Another thing I did was take homeopathics, which are just really, really concentrated forms of plants um, that have medicinal purposes. So the two that I took for uh, mastitis specifically, Arnica, this is 200 cc's and I would take like two or three every few hours as I needed it. This was really good for pain management and inflammation. And then Phytolacca, um, this one is great for again helping thin milk. So it's actually really, really effective with, with clogged ducts and mastitis. And then the other thing that made a really big difference for me, and I highly recommend if you can, is getting in a tub of as hot of water as you can stand with Epsom salts. I used essential oils, uh, copaiba and lavender, and I added the, those oils to the salt, put it in the bath, then got in and just soaked, and then hand expressed as much milk as I can. Massage really helps get those clogs moving. You can feel where they are. You can apply pressure and massage them out. Um, so that also made a really big difference. But within, like I said, a day of taking the sunflower lecithin and doing the Epsom salt baths, taking the homeopathics to manage the pain, I was feeling so much better. I didn't need a trip to the doctor. I didn't need antibiotics, which again, have a time and purpose, but they do wipe out all of your good gut bacteria, which can actually take out your immune system for six months to a year. So going into the winter, one thing I don't want to do if I can avoid it is weaken my immune system, right? We want that to be as strong as possible because that's what's going to help our body fight off little colds and viruses. So, uh, and antibiotics really, really do a number on that. So if I can avoid that, I'm going to. Yeah, other than that, I just slept a lot and stayed super hydrated. Staying hydrated is really important. And then nursing around the clock. Like, even when he wasn't crying and hungry, I was offering him uh, milk just to keep that milk flowing, to keep it from getting built up and backed up. This little buddy, <laughs> he's the best. He just sleeps with me most of the days and I am not complaining at all. It is my favorite thing. We are all so smitten. The girls are in love. Marin constantly is like, where's my baby? And she'll come up and she says, I love you so much, baby. I want to keep you forever. I'm going to give you a kiss. And she'll like give him kisses and hugs. And she's just all about him. Tyler comes in she's like, he's just so cute. I want to cry. And she's right. He's so cute that you basically want to cry when you look at him. John's really smitten. Like, he loves his girls, don't get me wrong, but there's something really sweet about seeing him with Israel where he will just like hold him and like go, Danielle, look at him, look at him, look, look, he's so cute. And I just feel like he like is way more into him at these stages. Like with the girls, once they could start laughing at him, that's when he really shined because he was like, they think I'm funny. But with him, like from day one, he's just been equally smitten as the rest of us. So it's been a good two months overall. Um, it took me a solid six weeks or so before I started feeling a little bit more like myself. And I took it slow on purpose so that I could recover physically, but also emotionally. Because it's a big change to go from nine months of pregnancy to having a baby. And it can take a lot out of you. There's a lot to adjust to, um, not sleeping dealing with pain, dealing with like milk and nursing and all the feelings and all the extra love that you have. Like it's so much of an adjustment. Give yourself grace and take time because um, you can't get that time back and you're going to look back and, and regret it if you just rush through those first few weeks. So 
I will say even over this last month, we've been really busy. We went to the beach, we went camping and being that busy, I feel like oh, I'm missing so much. Like I just need to pump the brakes, slow down and soak this in. Cause once it's gone, it's gone. So that's my uh, postpartum advice for you. If it's your first baby or your seventh, take the time to soak it in. You will never regret spending more time snuggling and staring at your precious baby. Um, but what you might regret is not doing it enough. So, all right, that's it for our two month update. I know we're gonna be doing the three month one, <laughs> like in a blink. Um, I'm gonna try to catch his first laugh on camera. We'll see, he hasn't done it yet, but I'm gonna be recording every time I tickle him. <laughs> all right, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for uh, keeping up with Israel. We'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, click follow, follow again, and then tap see first to make sure you stay up to date on what's going on with our family.